Everyone has a spirituality. Everyone has this restlessness inside of them. Where do we find meaning? What is love? What is hope? How do we reconcile the suffering that is present in our lives and in the world around us? We don't claim to be perfect, but that is why our hope is not in men or women, but in God. God has always been there, even when we thought he wasn't. Most of the time, we just keep looking for God in some type of obvious, awe-inspiring sign. And it's not to say that God doesn't sometimes become known to us in this way, but most of the time, he's most present in the simplest of blessings. A good cup of coffee, a conversation with a friend, a random act of kindness, and even a great song. God is there. You only need to raise your awareness to that divine reality. And that's why we come here, so that we can learn God's ways, so that we can train our senses, so that we can hear the stories of those who have journeyed before us and those who journey right beside us. We come here to practice, where the presence of God is a little more obvious. There's something about this place that evokes a transcendence you can't find anywhere else. Founded by the Bazillion Fathers in 1856, people often describe this place as a modern traditional church located in the heart of the city and university. We describe it as a place where we learn about goodness, discipline, and knowledge. There are people here of all ages, backgrounds, and walks of life. It's a great reminder that things such as age, race, and social status don't have to segregate or divide us. What matters most is that we're a community able to experience, learn, and grow together. If you're watching this, then chances are you're not as far from God as you think. But it's okay if you're not ready to visit us just yet. We'll be here when you're ready, with joy, with hope, and with love and mercy.